Para na pipilitan lang kayo eh. Hindi <laughs> tingnan yung tura. Tingnan mo si Gia, para na pipilitan lang. Napipilitan ka lang ata. Kasi mga type mo. As in. So first, uh, I got a white compound, white chocolate compound. So I melted it in the microwave oven. So, ito na siya. Yan. So the next step is I'm going to uh, mix the dry ingredients, which are the um, all-purpose flour and then salt. And then, the baking powder. So, sinif ko na lang din yung baking powder. So, yun na yung tatlong ingredients natin. All-purpose flour, uh, baking powder, and then um, salt. Make sure lang na mahalo mo siyang maigi. So using our mixer, I'm now going to put on the cocoa powder. So this is one cup of cocoa powder. And then I'm going to mix it with the granulated white sugar. So mix now. Next is, I'm going to put the oil. Gently put the oil lang. So, yan. Ilalagay ko na ang oil. I'm going to put the vanilla. So, yan. Scrape ko lang yung bowl. Kasi when you are using um, stand mixer, you have to scrape the pinakailalim ng bowl para naahalo siya na maigi. Next, I'm going to add the uh, white chocolate. Parang instead of dark chocolate, I use white chocolate kasi yun lang yung available ko ngayon. So, yan. And then, mix uli natin. So, this is the first egg. So, we're going to put total of four eggs. Second egg. So, mas maganda kung isa-isa yung paglalagay mo ng egg para if there's any na bulok na egg, hindi mo siya agad mo isasama direct na doon sa mixture mo. So, this is the third egg. Then, the last egg, which is the fourth egg. So, I'll show you the mixture. So, yan. Very runny pa yung ating mixture. So, scrape lang natin uli yung ilalim ng bowl. So, 
So after scraping this one, I'm going to put na the uh, dry ingredients. Yung ating all-purpose flour with the salt and the baking powder. So I'm going to put it gently lang. Konti-konti. So, I'm going to put it in the very low speed. So, yan. So, stop ko muna. And then, ilagay ko na yung final batch ng flour. Tapos, syempre, scrape ko na din yung ilalim. So, as you can see, ito na ang ating mixture. So, spray ko, spray ko lang din yung lalim. Actually, hindi natin siya agad i-bake. Dahil, kailangan muna natin siya ilagay sa fridge for 4 hours or overnight. Or if excited kayo, we can put it in the freezer for an hour. So, dahil excited ako, nalagay ko lang siya sa freezer for 1 hour. Cover ko lang siya. And then, after an hour, we're going to bake it na. So, yan ang ating mixture. Cover ko lang siya with cling film. And see, I now prepare my, um, what do you call this? Baking camarot. And then, this is the powdered sugar. So, dyan natin i-dip yung ating, um, crinkles. So, ito na ang ating mixture na galing sa freezer. Yan. And then, I also need a, uh, pang scoop. So, ito na, mag-scoop na ako. So, yan. I-roll ko lang ng konti kasi bawal mo siyang i-ano. I-roll na matagal kasi maka ma baka mainitan. <laughs> so, yun. Sayang naman yung pagkakalagay mo sa freezer. Tapos, wait. Ilalagay ko lang siya sa didip ko lang siya sa powdered sugar. So, yan. Wait. Yan. So, madaming maraming powder, maraming maraming powdered sugar na. Tapos, I'm just going to put it here in our baking sheet. Tapos, yan. Medyo pa-flatten natin siya ng konti. So, I'm going to make a lot now with my helping hand. Yan ang aking helping hand. Si Carlota. So, ayan, nagawa na namin ang isang uh, baking pan. So, I made 12, uh, we made 12 crinkles. So, let's check our cookie, our crinkles, kung okay na. So, yan. I think okay na siya. Kasi it's been mga 12 to 13 minutes. So, yan. For the crinkles. So, bake natin ulit for 12 to 13 minutes. Yeah! Yeah. So, mamaya, 
kung masarap ang ating crinkles, gagawa pa ako ng two more mixtures. So, for now, patayin ko muna. And, papalamigin ko muna yung crinkles. Then, I'm going to transfer. I'm going to ask your opinion about that crinkles, okay? So, go! Try. So, what's your opinion? Masarap! Yan totoo! Para na pipilitan lang kayo eh. Hindi mm. <laughs> tingnan niyo ra. Tingnan mo si Gia, para na pipilitan lang, napipilitan ka lang ata kasi ma-type mo. At in. 